Hey there, today is lesson uh, 40 in Saxon's third edition of Algebra 1. This lesson is going to be about a couple of things. Um, one is called the quotient rule for exponents, and the second thing is <clears throat> distributive property of rational expressions that contain negative exponents. So um, I found this on Google Images, and I it, it is exactly like um, what is on your book at the very beginning of Lesson 40 on page 160. The little chart there, the rules and definitions for exponents. So um, I just wanted to have it here for you. But let's go ahead and go to the next um, page and we're going to look at, um, get right down to the meat of this lesson. Okay, laws of exponents. Um, go back and try to remember in multiplying when you have pro the product rule for exponent what that really means is if I have x to the m power times x to the n power what that really means is that's going to be equal to x to the m plus n power so I'm going to mul um, I'm going to um, add <coughs> I'm sorry add my exponents Quotient rule is just the opposite, just like uh, division undoes multiplication, it's kind of an opposite. The quotient rule for exponents is um, instead of adding the two exponents, you would subtract them. And here's a better um, explanation probably to divide powers with the same base, subtract their exponents. And this is um, really puts it out lovely here for you. You've got a to the fifth is a times a times a times a times a. And a squared is a times a. So if you cancel out everything that's in common, this would, a divided by a is one, and a divided by a is one. That leaves you with a times a times a, which is a to the third. So if you look at it this way, a to the five minus two, you get a to the third, which is the same thing as, d um, it saves you from having to do all of this. Um, 6 to the ninth divided by 6 to the 4, you just subtract 9 minus 4 would be 6 to the 5th. So here if we've got z to the 8th divided by z to the 3rd, then that's going to give us 8 minus 3, that would give us z to the 5th power. Alright, so here we got um, something else, um, x to the 6th divided by x to the negative 4th, well, that's going to be, um, if I bring this 4 up, it becomes positive 4, and then I have x to the 6 plus 4, which is x to the 10th. And here I have um, another way that I could write it is if I brought this 6 down, it would be negative 6, so I would have 1 over x to the negative 4 minus 6, which would be 1 over x to the negative 10th. Again, different ways of writing the same thing. Here, I have x to the negative 5th, y to the 6th, z. And then down on the bottom, I have z to the negative third, y squared, and x. So, in this interpretation, I've brought this 5 down and made it positive. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I brought this 1 up and made it negative. So, I've got... Um, x to the negative 6. And then if I bring this y up, it becomes 6 minus 2, which is y to the 4th. And then the z, when it comes up, becomes positive 3. So I'd have 1 plus 3 is z to the 4th. I could also do it the opposite way and bring everything on top down and then change their signs. And then I would have 1 over x to the 6th, y to the negative 4th, z to the negative 4th. Another way that I can write this, and you'll see the reason for this later while we're writing it out so many ways, I could bring, um, I could leave the x to the 6 down here and bring these two up. 
up and they would become positive exponents. So on for, forward in your lessons, you're going to have different sets of directions for these, maneuvering these exponents all around. Sometimes it will tell you to put all exponents in the, in the numerator, and that would be like this. Sometimes all exponents in the denominator, which would be this one. And then sometimes it's going to say make all exponents positive, and that would be this one. And it may tell you to make it all exponents negative, which is this. All four of these mean exactly the same thing. They are this simplified, but it's going to be very important that you pay attention to your directions or you will get it incorrect. All right, moving on, distributive property of rational expressions that contain negative exponents. All right, so what we're going to do is we're multiplying, because distributive property multiplies over this, um, this term, is going to multiply over this term and over this term. So 4 times x negative second, y to the fourth, x squared. I'm going to have, <clears throat> my 4 is going to stay on top. I'm going to have x to the negative second on top, y to the fourth, x squared, and y to the fourth on the bottom. Well, when I look, I see that y to the fourth over y to the fourth, they cancel each other out. And up on top, 2 minus 2, those two cancel each other out, leaving me with simply 4. Then I'm going to multiply the 4 times the 3, and I'm going to get this 12. x to the negative second, x to the fourth, what's that going to give me? x squared. And then y to the fourth times y to the negative second. When I add those exponents or subtract, I'm going to have, which is adding algebraically, I'm going to have 4 minus 2, which is y squared. So it's really just a continuation of what we learned earlier. So let's work out these practice problems. It says simplify, write all answers, write the answers with all variables in the numerator, which is the top of the fraction. So if I'm going to have to do that, first of all, I'm going to look at this and I'm going to say, hmm, x to the negative 6, x to the negative 6, they cancel each other out. Now, this one, if it's got to come up, this 5 becomes negative 5, which leaves me with y to the 4 minus 5 is negative 1. And when this 2 comes up, it becomes minus 2. So I have z cubed, because 5 minus 2 is 3. And that would be my answer. In b, if I bring this negative 2 up, it becomes positive 2, and m to the 4th plus 2 is m to the 6th. When I bring this 4 up, it's, become, it's going to become negative 4, and negative 4 and positive 3 is p to the negative 1. This 6 of this z is going to come up and become positive uh, 6, so 10 plus 6 is z to the 16th. And then this d to the negative second comes up and becomes d squared to add to this d to the first. So I'm going to have d cubed. All right, c and d are going to say expand by using the distributive property. Then we're going to write answers with all variables in the numerator, okay, up top. All right, so I've got z to the negative third, x to the fourth, and m times m squared is m cubed, minus 3z to the negative third, and z to the first is z to the negative second, and m times m on the bottom is m squared. But Everything is not in the numerator, so this has to come up, and this has to come up, leaving me with z to the negative third, x to the fourth, m to the negative third, minus 3z to the negative second, m 
to the negative second. And finally, our last one, don't let it throw you that this um, is over here on the outside, on the right hand side rather than the left, you're still going to do the same thing. m to the negative second times m to the negative fifth is m to the negative seventh over 3 c m w to the fourth x minus c w squared m to the negative second over 3 c m times m is m squared x cubed. All right, so all of the exponents are going to have to come up. We're going to put the threes are going to stay on the bottom though. So we're going to put one over three and let's see, when this m comes up, it's going to become negative 1, so I'm going to have m to the negative 8th. Let me cross those out. c to the negative 1. Cross that out. w to the negative 4 and x to the negative 1. Minus 1 over my 3 down here. This C and this C cancel each other out. W squared. When this M squared comes up, it's going to add, it's going to be negative 2. So I'm going to have M to the negative 4th. And then when this comes up, it's going to be X to the negative 3rd. Alright, this can get tricky, so take your time. Make sure that you show all your work. Don't skip, don't skip this step. Okay? And I'll look to see all of your practice problems in your notebook. I'll see you tomorrow.